India SS-400 debuts in combat to shield air space. The Indian Air Force, deploying its Russian-made S-400 Triumph air defense system, intercepted and neutralized the incoming threats, marking the system's first combat use in Indian hands. This high-stakes encounter, triggered by India's Operation Sindor, showcased the S-400's capabilities and underscored India's growing military prowess in a volatile region. The event, reported by Indian defence sources to local media, not only highlighted the system's role in safeguarding strategic assets but also raised questions about its strategic and economic implications in modern warfare. The S-400 Triumph, known to NATO as the SA-21 Growler, is a mobile surface-to-air missile system developed by Russia's Almazanti Corporation. Designed to counter a wide array of aerial threats, it can engage targets at ranges up to 400 km and altitudes of 30 km. The system's core components include a multi-function radar for early warning, a command and control center, and mobile launchers equipped with multiple missile types. India's version employs a mix of interceptors, such as the long-range 40N6E, capable of striking targets at 400 km, and the medium-range 48N6E3, optimized for ranges up to 250 km. The shorter-range 9M96E2 missiles provide precision against agile targets like drones and cruise missiles. The system's phased array radar can track up to 300 targets simultaneously, making it a formidable tool against complex, multi-threat scenarios. Unlike India's indigenous Akash system, which focuses on medium-range defense, or the Israeli-designed Barricade, tailored for naval and coastal protection, the S-400 offers unmatched range and versatility positioning it as the cornerstone of India's layered air defence network. India's journey to acquire the S-400 began in 2015, driven by escalating threats from Pakistan and China. Both neighbours possess advanced air forces and missile